Hello everyone and welcome! In today's video I will be showing you how I painted this lightning storm landscape. I'm not going to be making a cat simply because I could not think of an occasion for which I could give this or a greeting that would fit. If you have any ideas let me know in the comments. These are the products I will be using and you will find a full list of the products over on my blog. The link is in the description. I wanted to paint this for a long time and I was postponing it because I thought it's difficult to paint and I could not be more wrong. This is truly easy, perfect for beginners. I started by taping my cardstock to a board to help prevent warping and then I sketched the lightning. I will be sketching directly onto the cardstock but you can also first sketch in a sketchbook or on a piece of paper which I also did. Here you can see the examples and then you can transfer it onto the watercolor cardstock just like I did in the video with the air balloon. The reason I did not do it here is because it's very simple to draw. I searched online and found a few photos for a reference. While I did not follow them exactly, it really helped me with the general shape of the lightning. I started drawing about 2 cm from the top because I wanted it to look like the lightning is coming out from the clouds at the top. And because I will be painting in a few mountains, I stop where the top of the mountain in the back is going to be because I wanted the lightning look like it's going behind the mountain. I first drew the main line of the lightning and I drew it in a zigzag motion. After that I randomly added the other lines. You really do not need to overthink this. I recommend the hashtag lightning photography on Instagram or just Google images. Lightning can be very simple or very detailed. After I was happy with my drawing, I used a masking fluid and a small brush and I covered the lines. If you do not have a masking fluid or masking pen, you can first paint the sky and then use either gouache, acrylic paint or gel pen to add the lightning after the painting is dry. For me, drawing first and using the masking fluid is much easier. I also would not recommend using an expensive brush to apply the masking fluid so you don't ruin it. Actually, I coated my brush with a little bit of soap and water to protect it, something I learned from Christina Werner. After the masking fluid was dry, I started painting the sky. I first applied clean water across the whole cardstock and then I took a mid-tone blue and covered the sky portion of the painting. I wanted this to be the time of the day when it's evening but it's still light and when the storm comes it becomes darker. I wanted the part of the top of the lightning to be light and because I went over it with my brush with the color I tried to lighten it afterwards. You can use a kitchen paper for that or clean dry brush to lift the paint. You can also keep it lighter around the lightning to make it brighter. It depends completely on you or the photo you are following. While the background was still wet, I added my first layer of the clouds. I did exactly the same as I did when I painted the Galaxy Aurora. I will leave the link to those videos in the description. In a dabbing motion I was creating the clouds. I wanted thick dark clouds at the top and then some clouds across the sky. First I used two blues, one of them was the mid-tone and the other one is a little bit darker and then I added the black. The black I added mainly at the top. dry and then I applied second layer. For the second layer or technically it's a third layer if you count the wash of blue I did at the beginning. On this layer I did the wet on dry technique meaning my brush was wet but the paper was dry. I intensified the colors and again in a dabbing motion I was creating the clouds. There were parts where I would have harsher edges. To avoid this happening I cleaned my brush and with a damp brush I softened those edges. And then I was applying the colors and playing with it until I was happy with the look. I 
also use a dry brush to lift a little bit of color at the top of the lightning and then along the lines. It worked on the top but not on the lines. This is probably because I was keeping the top lighter from the beginning, but the lines were an afterthought. If you want to have it brighter along the lines, keep that in mind from the beginning or you can also add highlights afterwards. I let the piece dry and then I painted the mountains. But before I show you how I did that, if you like this video so far, I would really appreciate if you did the YouTube things, like and subscribe and comment. Any questions or ideas what you would like me to paint next are always welcome. Anyways, let's paint the mountains. Right at the start I made a mistake, not sure if I can call it a mistake, as this happened to me on my practice piece, I should have known better. I wanted the lightning to go behind or touch the mountain in the back, so I should have removed the masking fluid before, at least at the bottom, not try to remove it when it's wet, which was not a great idea. I eventually dried it with my heat tool and then I tried to correct it. I had to come back a few times as you could still see the line, but I did not want to give up, I did not want to throw it away and start again and in the end it turned out okay. For the mountains I only used a black paint. The last row is the lightest and the front row of the mountains is the darkest. I painted mountains like this last year, you can check out the video if you want, it's really one of the simplest things you can paint. After I finished the last set of mountains, I let it dry and then I removed the masking fluid. I just used my finger to remove it and then I also erased the pencil lines. As you see the part where the lightning touches the mountain still doesn't look good, so I went back with the color and I tried to fix it. I applied more saturated black just at the top and then using a clean dump brush I spread the color around. I also fixed the mountain on the left because it did not look good either and I was able to correct my mistake. I removed the washi tape from the watercolor cardstock and the painting is done. I really love it and I would love to make a card. Let me know if you have any idea what kind of card I could make, which occasion, which greeting. Right now I'm thinking maybe Halloween card. We'll see. Also, what you could do is to paint a few trees on top of the mountains. I did this on this painting. This was my practice piece. And on another practice piece, I was also trying to add purple. So there are many ways how to paint this. And I hope you will give this a try. It's really simple. Earlier in this video, I mentioned other paintings that I did, a painting of a galaxy and a painting with mountains. Those videos should be showing on your screens now. I will also link them in the description. Make sure you check them out. So that is all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.